Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street. Bill Anthony here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much to those who have subscribed. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well because I love talking about investing, cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are just getting started. Also guys, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people i would really appreciate it because the youtube algorithm is absolute magic when you do that also guys little disclaimer please do your own research do not take what i say as financial advice in this video it's very risky with these kind of investments you can lose money like that i don't want to see that happen to anybody all right so please don't take what i say as financial advice in these videos all right please be careful do your own research ladies and gentlemen i'm back in my office for today and I'm probably going to be coming in a lot more, obviously, because the year is picking up here. It's getting quite busy in my multiple businesses that I'm running at the moment. So uh, I'm back in the office. And uh, everyone seems to love this uh, Fuji Xerox photocopier here for some reason. Yes, it's a monster. It is an absolute Terminator machine. Destroys papers. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. Community tab today, guys. Obviously, here, Electronium has been pumping really nice, up 43% dollar cost averaging into these cryptos this is what i bought last night ftm more v chain more matic more xrp and they're the ones that i bought last night i dollar cost average into all my cryptocurrencies just building up my portfolio that is a given obviously our dividend stocks are a big thing for me i'll do a video but i did buy epd at&t intel and wba walgreen boots so for those dividend stock investors on this channel there you go so that's what i bought let's get into coin spot this is where i buy my cryptos in australia Please feel free to use the referral link below. It is a great exchange, guys. It really is one of the best in the world, to be quite honest. And guys, if you use that referral link, you can get $10 in Bitcoin. Who doesn't want Bitcoin? It is going to hit $100,000 very soon. There's been insane predictions out there. Two, 300,000. Kathy Woods from ARK Invest saying it's going to hit 500,000 US dollars. If that happens, wow, crazy stuff. Anyway. Bitcoin is up today, guys, 1.84% to 61,000. Ethereum, 4,757. BNB, $687. Solana, 214. Cardano is $1.90. Very nice. XRP, $1.12. And there's some news updates with that one today, obviously, with the case. I'll get into that in a second. Luna's up to $114. Polkadot, $38. AVAX, $134. Doge, 23 cents. Polygon Matic, I did buy that last night, $3.40. Link, $37 down slightly today. Crow, 69 cents. Nears at $24. Uh, Algo's at $2.09. I did buy FTM last night because I would like to get involved in this because on the charts, it is seriously going upwards. It ain't going down, up 8% today. $4.04. Stellar XLM, 40 cents. Tron's at 9 cents. Mana's at $4.34. Hadera, very bullish on that one. 41 cents guys v chain 11 cents come on this crypto project is going to be ridiculously big it is massive already guys the utility its partners that it's already using v chain is so undervalued i bought it last night adding to my bags i want at least at least a hundred thousand vet in the next couple of months guys a massive bag some of you have millions that's awesome but guys a hundred thousand is my goal for the moment and uh, that would be awesome to get that axi infinity is 110 sandbox seven dollars and 22 cents let's have a look here theta six dollars and four cents harmony one is another one that i'm very bullish on i'm probably going to buy some tonight guys at 48 cents up 11 percent today which is incredible iota banking coin eight dollar 63 arve is at 309 dollars I saw a price prediction today on that that it could reach $1,400. Can you believe that? The graph, I've got that. It is a Web3, guys, $0.84. Cents. Gala Games, $0.50. Cents. My other favorites here. Quant's one of them that I'm considering as well for sure. Neo's $35. And if we go down to XDC, $0.13. Cents, it's up 5.27%. Yes, that's fantastic. Now, let's get into some news. There's a lot happening out there. Let's go straight into Coin360. Going to refresh this because I don't know what the price is doing at the moment. It's really nice being back at the office, by the way, because everything's nice and quick. BTC, 43,000 US dollars. Awesome news, guys. Very happy with this. Obviously, there's been some positive stuff around, you know, in the news, but also some negative stuff in relation to inflation rates going up to 7%. I'm going to show you some interesting facts about that. Ethereum, 3,300. Solana, 
Everything's in the green, guys, here. Nears, down, link, and hex. Obviously, that seems to pump when everything else is going upwards. So, we have some updates in relation to inflation. Now, this plays a very important part here. So, dollar slumps as U.S. inflation surge comes in lines with expectations. I'll have a quick sip of water, guys. We have the inflation figures coming out for this month in the United States, and uh, it doesn't look good. Basically, it means your money is becoming less and less of a value. So if you're holding cash in the bank, it is becoming worthless, basically. Every single month and every year, it just goes down in value. And it's really sad to see that that's happening here, guys. So obviously, everyone is trying to pick the hedge against inflation. Who are they? What are they picking, guys? Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, guys. That is literally the place where they're going. Here's an article here on the New York Times. I just want to show you this. So supply chain snags continue to drive up prices. Supply chain. This is in relation to V chain as well. This is why I'm so bullish on V chain, guys, because it's really going to help supply chain. I think it is going to be a massive project. Really big, guys. Check this out here. This is the annual price changes in December last of last month, obviously that were last year, guys. So motor fuel is up 50%, fuel oil 41%, used cars and trucks 37%, uh, truck rentals 36%, hotels 28%, piped utility and gas services 24%, beef and veal, can you believe it? 19%, living room and kitchen and dining furniture is up 17%, bacon and breakfast and sausage is up 16%. I can't say that I eat bacon and sausages every day for breakfast. It would not be good for the heart, that's for sure. You've got to exercise. New trucks and cars, 12%. Eggs are up 11%. Now, I do eat a lot of, um, obviously, eggs for protein. Men's suits, sports coats, outwear, 11%. Bedroom furniture, 10%. Women's dresses, 8%. Posters and delivery services. I know I've seen an increase, obviously, because of my business. That's gone up 7%. Footwear, 6%. Televisions, 4%. Computers have gone up 3%. Public transport, well, nobody's really catching, catching public transport because of what's all happening in the world at the moment. You can get pretty sick on that. 2%. Airline fares, 1%. But guys, motor, fuel in the United States is up 50%. And it hasn't really hit here that much. I mean, prices in Australia have gone up. But guys, 50%. And especially the used car market. If you're in the market to buy a new, a new, like a secondhand car, you'll be paying new prices. So like something that would be worth 100000 say for an SUV or a four-wheel drive, we call them here in Australia, um, basically you'll be paying you know anywhere from a hundred to 150000 for a second-hand car with 60,000 kilometers on it or however, however many miles. So crazy to think what's happening here with inflation, guys. I mean, this is why you cannot keep your money in the bank. You need to invest it either in Bitcoin, whatever it may be. A hedge against inflation this is why all the institutions and venture capital firms and all this stuff are starting to keep an eye on bitcoin because it's the literally one of the only hedges against inflation it really is guys in cryptocurrencies in general let's have a look here guys obviously we've got some stuff with the xrp case it has been pushed back now discovery till february which is really annoying here guys but again who cares it's been pushed back a month if it settles this year and it gets resolved i don't mind waiting i'm in this for the long haul with XRP, I don't really care about what's all this news and fud out there. And I, I, you know, part of me thinks that the news and media and all these institutions actually want fear and, and uncertainty and doubt. They want you to sell your XRP. So you get out of the market. The banks and finance institutions can use all the XRP in the market and accumulate. Wales are still buying XRP. And obviously, you know, they put out a lot of fud in the media to scare retail investors to get out of the project. I'm not scared whatsoever in this for the long term guys so xrp ripple case being extended here so xrp has added more than seven percent to its value in the last 24 hours as the us and versus sec or ripple case is expected to be pushed back by a month so to february cases in between the united states securities and exchange commission SEC and blockchain company ripple is expected to be pushed back for a month however xrp has added more than seven percent who cares guys it doesn't matter uh what else have we got here guys v chain crypto Again, I'm so bullish on VeChain, guys. It's got incredible partnerships and utility. There is an app on the App Store you can download, VeChain Pro, I think it is. I downloaded it, can't access it because we don't have the VeChain chips here in Australia just yet. But guys, it's coming out globally. So Vet Crypto, what has VeChain investors feeling bullish today? So this was an article published on NASDAQ uh, back on Jan 5th. And uh, just have a look here, guys. So it's obviously talking about 
their stable coin, VET USD. And according to the tweet from the VeChain Foundation, it opens up uh, the VET crypto to wider options and that includes preparing it for decentralized finance, DeFi, Web3, and novel real world use cases, guys. So it's an incredible project. Check it out if you haven't done your research on VeChain. I've been filling my bags with this because it's going to be mega. Incredible price increases here. Uh, what else have we got here, guys? Ah, so we've got a popular crypto trader, Michael Van der Pop. Forgive me if I'm pronouncing his name wrong. Says that one enterprise-focused altcoin might be nearing a price zone that could make it for a fish effective entry, guys. So Van der Pop tells 556,000 uh, 56, Twitter followers that V Chain is looking some um, looking at some massive opportunities. Again, V Chain, very undervalued, guys. I keep telling you. Let's have a look at crypto bubbles today because it's much better on this computer. Rose, Dash, Hex is up, Dash, ICP, Bit, XYM, Shiba, Manu, Omi as well, Ecomi, I'm very bullish on that. XLM, Harmony One, guys. Matic, I bought Matic last night because I think it's going to go parabolic very soon. Every project relies on it, so it's an incredible project to invest in. And Phantom. Phantom I did buy last night, guys. So Phantom, the Phantom crypto is heading skyward today after a number of promising developments of the coin. Specifically, the FTM cryptocurrency is up 17% at the time of writing this in uh, writing. As investors um, claim more over the decentralized finance phenomenon, now Phantom price predictions are hot in lieu of the news. So it's an incredible project, guys. In Phantom, next it crypto or just a flash in the pan? No, we all know that uh, well-known DeFi developer and Cronge has uh, has been hinting at new features founding the upcoming V 3.3 project, which will apparently see its own token launched on Phantom. Uh, the token has been described as an emission-based token that balances ecosystem um, participants. Further, the project actually uh, a um, is actually in collaboration with DeFi uh, mogul Danielle. Stessa Gali, forgive me for pronouncing these names wrong, guys. Everyone's got a very unique last name. The founder of DeFi Platforms. So this comes in addition to recent reports of investing giants buying up large quantities of cryptocurrencies, including Polygon, Matic, One. Obviously, we know that Harmony One. A whale reportedly purchased roughly 1.1 million dollars worth of Phantom crypto. So clearly, today today's rally isn't baseless. With Phantom currently sitting at two dollars and fifty seven cents. Let's see what experts expect from the crypto going forward, guys. It's going to be a big project. Now, let's go to uh, Twitter today, guys. So XRP Crypto Wolf, Brad Garlinghouse hit 589,000 followers. They've got, they've got this interview here, guys, on uh, Fox News with um, Charles Gasparino. Let's have a quick listen to this, guys. You over just the last 24 hours on news that proceedings in the Securities and Exchange Commission versus Ripple case will have to be pushed back now a month due to the spread of new COVID infections. To Charlie Gasparino with the latest breaking developments yeah, we, in we the case. We can point out this is, is unbelievable. A, th yeah, this is a Fox Business report that moved that from Ellie Terrett, my producer, and my, I've been posting some stuff more recently. Uh, mm -hmm. Our reporting has moved XRP. Here's what we know about this case. You know, we were just asking simple questions. Where is it? People thought, you know, earlier in, that early this year there would be some movement in the XR in the Ripple case versus the SEC. The SEC suing Ripple. Uh, the, um, the 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 big technology company uh, over its XRP um, cryptocurrency, saying it's really a security that needs to be uh, registered with the SEC. Uh, Ripple says no way. We're no different than Ethereum and and the and Bitcoin. Um, and this thing is going to be hashed out in court. It's probably the biggest crypto case out there. It, it, you know, it's going to it's going to set the stage for SEC enforcement going forward. How much authority they have versus the CFTC. So keep an eye on this. But we were just asking simple questions, Lizzie. Uh, you know, where the hell is it? It's you know, okay, into January. Where's the movement? We found out there was really no movement, and then we did a little digging. And here's what Ellie essentially came up with. Um, the both the SEC and Ripple are asking the judge in this case, a Judge Torres, a federal judge, to delay the case amid the COVID surge. They they're having a hard time getting all the witnesses, and they want to. And there's, there's about eight left of the 16 they wanted to pose, and they want them to pose them face to face. It's very hard to do this 
over Zoom because these things last could last seven hours. There's a seven hour limit. So in order to really get to the bottom of it, to, of a deposition, you kind of got to go back and forth. And because of the COVID surge, it's hard to do that right now. And they don't want to do it via Zoom. And it's both both sides saying, yeah, please delay this. The I think the deadline for depositions was this week. Not I think I know. It's now been delayed. Or it's they, they both asked the judge to delay it to February 28th. Uh, we'll see what the judge says. Usually when both sides uh, ask for a delay, they, they say, OK, and, and the, you'll delay the, the thing to February 28th. Um, um, again, they, they want to get they want to they want to do all 16, not just that they'll get the eight done this week. That I think the, the initial eight will be done this week, but they got to do 16, and that's why the February 28th date is imperative for both sides. And here's an, another interesting side note: there's a lot of little news on Ripple today in this case. A Ripple's request for privileged SEC documents, their internal discussions and documents emails right. about what they were saying about XRP versus Ethereum, whether why Ethereum was given a break and not XRP, the judge is going to rule on Ripple's request to get those documents. If those documents oh. become um, public, Liz, public. exactly yeah. why XRP, because part of the case here for XRP and Ripple, why are you holding us, in their words, to a different standard than Ethereum? I know we did certain things. They did almost the same stuff in terms of creating the ether, the e ETH, right? Their cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. They used, they did a, they they did a, 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 a an offering essentially, a digital offering to fund their platform. Uh, that's an issue. If you, that's what you're dinging us for, doing it, you know, selling our our XRP mm -hmm. to fund our platform, and they're thus making it a security. If it's a security, it needs to be registered with the SEC. Ripple, as you know, has not done that. Ethereum has not done that. And of course, the, the the Bitcoin people, whoever they are, whoever created Bitcoin didn't do it back in the day. But apparently they're giving a pass to Bitcoin, they're giving a pass to ETH. Anyway, there you go. That's an interview there on Fox News or Fox Business there in, in relation to the XRP Ripple case, guys. So again, situation going on in the, the world at the moment. I'm sure a lot of businesses are using this as leverage in whatever they're doing in negotiations. So pushing it back because they want to interview people face to face who knows guys not really worried about that i'm just dollar cost averaging into xrp every single week guys so we've got a whale here buying 5.7 million dollars of xlm transferred from coinbase to unknown wallet that is a lot of money guys whale status here this is my tweet obviously in relation to what i just went through before in regards to inflation and prices going up and money becoming worthless going up seven percent that is crazy. You're losing 7% of your money every month, guys, in banks. And gosh, that's a, that's terrible. So from carbon neutral NFTs on the XRP ledger to CBDCs and interoperability, CTO uh, David Schwartz dives into hot topics in today's crypto space. Catch his interview there. So that is a great read. Go check it out on my Twitter page there, guys. Digital Pound Foundation, Electronium has been pumping today. Very nice. Check this out here, guys. You've got Accenture, Avalanche, Billion, CGI, Electronium, Herbert Smith, Freehills, massive law firm, guys. Quant, Ripple, Electronium there, obviously, and uh, the Realization Group. So very nice there. Just a random 60% upside on Electronium. So I've got a bag of Electronium. Very happy about that. And obviously here, guys, my other tweet, money never sleeps. It's incredible. I love it. I get a kick out of it. It's like an adrenaline rush, seeing money go up and down. It's just really cool. Uh, what else we got here? Developers at Near get 30% of uh, TXNS fees spent on their contract. Maybe one of the many reasons why Mad Near Protocol is growing rapidly and has shown a 4x growth in one year. Top three fastest growing dev ecosystem. That is insane as well, guys. Near's up 291%. Look at Luna, 313%, and Solana's up 307 So thank you very much, um, the Near Week, there for that tweet. And this is probably one of the reasons why it's been going parabolic as well. So Binance, loans, collateral assets, FTM and NIA. So you can borrow on Binance, get loans based on your assets like um, FTM, Phantom and NIA protocol. So that's really cool as well. That's pretty much it in terms of the Twitter news today. But I just want to point out um, in relation to how I made my assessments in these cryptocurrencies. And I'm going to wait for this to load now. I've put a lot of altcoins on TradingView paired with um, Bitcoin uh, on Binance. And a couple of on KuCoin because there's not many pairs like some other pairs don't pair up on Binance with Bitcoin. But guys, if you go into the last 
you know, go back until like November, you've got Gala Games down, obviously Rose, Crow, Luna, Nia, Avax, Matic. So look at the percentages there, guys. You've got Rose up 299%, Crow's 223, Luna 164%, Nia, BTCM, Nia Protocol obviously is 139%. So these coins started mooning then. Then if you scroll across here now to today's date, sorry, it's a bit hard to do this on the phone. I probably have to jump on the PC for this. But guys, I mean, look at Near Protocol. It is still going upwards, guys. So a lot of people are buying into this now. Rose, Luna, Matic, one as well is going to go parabolic and it's at like 40 cents. Could be a great buying opportunity. FTM, Matic, uh, Link, XDC, Clay. I don't even know what Clay is. I have to look at that. Uh, Carver as well. Curve, Dow, so that's CRV. A lot of people have been buying that as well. Salo is another one. So this is how I find the ones that are going to keep going upwards, guys. These are going to keep going in an upward movement. So they're the reasons why I'm investing in those. Obviously, I've got my blue chips, the bank, blue chips like banking coins, XTC, XRP, XLM, IOTA, Algorand, all those are my favorites, guys. Obviously, and Reef as well, um, and obviously VeChain. Now, VeChain is just a given for me. I just see what's going on in the world at the moment with supply chain. So, guys, VeChain for me is a very big play, and it's so undervalued. I think it's going to go parabolic, guys. So, they're the ones that I'm picking today. Um, in terms of my portfolio, I won't go through them all today, guys, because it's just, you know, pretty much standard. Market cap sitting at $2 trillion. Volume has been $95 billion. BTC and Ethereum still in the dominance there. 16,700 16, cryptos. It's gone up another 100 cryptos, and we're in the green in the last 24 hours. Top ones here, guys, live peer Oasis Network, Shiba Inu as well. That got listed on another exchange in Mexico, by the way. So I'm still holding my bag of Shiba Inu and Phantom. Harmony One, Near Protocol is down slightly, guys. But I picked these ages ago based on looking at this chart. Seriously, you can see it there. It's not, not hard. You can predict where these are going to go upwards, guys. They started last year. So literally last year in December, they started going upwards. So... Had you invested last year, it would have been really nice. I didn't pick this chart system up until I just looked up and did research. But that's pretty much it today, guys. I don't want to, guys, I don't want to keep you too long. Uh, for those of you looking to look, uh, check out three commas, the bot's been really nice, guys. It's made me three dollars today and six hundred, oh, sorry, sixty-five dollars in profits and uh, one thousand five hundred eighty-six dollars in uh, on Binance. Use Binance. I've got one dollar cost averaging bot set up using the Block Party trading signal, and I've got ten USD to the buy orders, fifteen USD. Tether safety orders and five safety orders, one and a half percent profit. So I'm waiting for the signals to come through on Block Party. Just going to double check that because it's been very quiet. I've only got three deals going at the moment with BNX, Ray, and Mask. So the bot's been really good. I'll put up a video on how to set one up and a referral link below to sign up to three commas. Do your research, so it's really cool. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about what's happening with the XRP case. Are you invested in Phantom, Harmony One? Let's talk about it in the comments, all right? Peace. Bye.